Yo, what is good, boys? Hope we're all having a fantastic day. It is cut reveal day, and you boys know I had to hit you back with the ultimate alumni ranking video. Now, I will say, I do not have the game. We do not know much about the actual abilities on these cards. Honestly, we know absolutely nothing, and if abilities are anything like they are in Madden, they're gonna matter. I figured that we do a little bit of a fun video here in rank all of these ultimate alumni cards that we get to pick one of for free if you pre-order the game right now or before the game drops on the 15th like i said i don't have my hands on the game so we're basing this off of the gameplay video that we saw yesterday i will say i'm not a gameplay expert i did not make a gameplay video yesterday on my second channel because i was like you know what i don't haven't i don't have touched the game yet i really do not have a opinion on whether i like the gameplay or not how it looks i think it looks great but again I'm not making a gameplay video until I get the gameplay in my hands, but I did watch that video a few times. I do think I kind of have an understanding of how the game's going to play, what's actually going to matter. So without further ado, let's slide on over to all the Ultimate Alumni players. Yeah, so here are all 10 of the players. As you guys can see, they are all 82 overalls. You got to pre-order the game before, I believe, July 15th. Honestly, if you're planning on pre-order the game, Go do it right now. Don't forget, you're not going to want to miss any of these cards. We also get the three cover athlete players. We get to pick one of three from, and then also the Heisman hopeful players. We saw those a few weeks back. I honestly think those Heisman hopeful players look a little bit better than these 82s, but I do think that the top like five cards on this list are definitely going to be very good. But the worst pick, in my opinion, as of right now, I really think it's going to be Peyton Wilson out of NC State, the middle linebacker. One, we don't know how middle linebackers are going to animate. And if it's anything like the other Maddens, you're going to need an ability to make it actually usable. So we'll have to just wait and see. I really couldn't make a decision based off of that one video we got of a game of gameplay of how good our middle linebackers are. Another thing that really knocked this card down for me, well, I guess are two stats. One, 77 speed, and two, 71 strength. All right, I am no, you know, nutritionist or, you know, I guess, personal trainer, but buddy, Peyton Wilson looks absolutely shredded. He is definitely stronger than 71 strength. Also, 78 zone is whatever, 80 power. I mean, how do you have 80 hit power but only 71 strength? That doesn't make sense. But like I said at the beginning of this video, we don't really know anything else besides the stats on these cards. And even that, so we only know eight stats per player. But 77 speed, 71 strength, a middle linebacker, kind of leading me to think that this card is not going to be the best. Also, speed is going to matter in this game. Just purely off that gameplay video I watched, you're going to want players that can move fast. 77 speed could potentially be a very fast linebacker. We don't really know, but basing it off the other cards we have seen, 77 speed on defense is below mid. And that is exactly why I have Jared Verse out of Florida State and your new Los Angeles Ram coming in at number nine. 77 speed on a right end day one is not bad whatsoever, but it's the rest of his stats that I'm like, nothing adds up to an 82 here. 77 speed, 80 strength, 80 tackle. Big fan of that. Looks really good. But then it's the rushing stats down here. That 76 finesse move. I don't think that's going to fly with me. 79 block shed. He does have 82 power move. Like, I'll give him that. Definitely get a bull rush. Going to be a stud on the bull rushing sets. But in a game where your scheme and your playability all matters, if you're not doing a man blitz like scheme, don't pick Jared Verse. He's not going to be good. 76, like... This card does not add up to an 82 overall. He doesn't look like an 82 overall. Again, I understand it's day one, and we also don't know what abilities are going on these cards, but off pure rip, this could have been the worst player we got so far. But again, middle linebackers don't look too special, and Jared Verse also not very good. At number eight, I have Michael Penix. To be honest, Penix looks pretty good compared to the other quarterbacks we've seen with the Carson Beck and the Quinn Ewers. The reason Penix is so low is one quarterback is not a depth position. You don't want to lock yourself into a BND quarterback. BND cards are back for college football ultimate team. I didn't mention that in my video this morning, so we're mentioning it now. It looks like BND cards will be here to stay for the fewer future of EA Ultimate Team Sports games. So Penix locking him in at a, you know, one of your top players on your team as a BND, but the 76 speed is pretty good day one of my just 
he is the best of the quarterbacks we have seen so far. I think Car- I think he beats out Carson Beck a little bit. He's also a lefty. If you don't like lefty quarterbacks, then why are you even debating picking Penix? But I just think quarterback is one of those positions where, like, don't lock yourself in. You're going to want to switch it up. If he's not the best of the best, which off rip doesn't look to be the best of the best unless he gets some crazy ability stack that's significantly better than anything else you can get, I would just stay away from Penix. Unless, again, big Washington fan or, I guess, a Atlanta Falcons fan, or you like lefty quarterbacks, then go Penix, but for me personally, I'm staying away. So at seven, I have Blake Corum. Uh, this one was difficult. Everything from like seven and up, I could really see myself picking. I just couldn't see myself picking Blake Corum. So I was like, you know what? He's number seven. It doesn't look bad whatsoever. We do have a better Donovan Edwards card that you can also pick out of that uh, cover athlete pack, and he is better than Blake Corum. So... I don't necessarily know why you would pick Blake Corum. I mean, you, unless you pick Travis Hunter or Quinn Ewers out of that pack and then want a running back. But again, running back is not a depth position. Like I said, for quarterback, you don't want to lock yourself into a B&D running back. Feel like you have to use him because you wasted your pre-order packs on him. He only has 81 speed too. I mean, 80 break tackle, 81 truck is going to be very good. He's a very good card. He looks really good. But again, we got a better running back out of the pre-order options if you want. 65 catch is also like, What? And you don't want to lock yourself into a B and D halfback day one a month or cut or should have been called nut. From here on up are cards that I could very well see myself picking. Cooper DeGene looks really good. The only issue with Cooper DeGene is there is a better defensive back out of this pack. So there really isn't a good reason for you to pick Cooper DeGene unless you know for the culture, hardest worker in the room, first one in, last one out type of guy. Cooper DeGene is going to be a hard worker on your nut squad. 80 speed, 82 excel, 80 agility, 78 jump. He looks really good. Also good coverages at 80 zone. 76 man is not great. Anything 80 and above, I feel like is going to be like a good threshold to sit at. Also 80 speed, kind of nerfed my guy's speed here. And like I said, there's just a better DB in the pack, but DB is a depth position. And what have I said? Every single one of my videos, we do one of these rankings. Two things I look for. One, BND depth position or BND offense alignment. And that is exactly where the next player is going to fall under. And that is exactly where JC Latham falls under. I know it's not the flashy pick picking an 82 overall right tackle out of your BND alumni, ultimate alumni pack, but it's definitely not a terrible option. I will say we have a better tackle in this pack. So I don't know why you would necessarily pick JC Latham. He's got 274 stats on his card. What? 83 strength though, 82 awareness. This card looks really good. Also, JC Latham is a big ass body. Like he's like 6'6, six, 6'7. Six, six, so you know he's going to take up space. He's always going to be good at this game. But there's just a better offense alignment in this pack. So I don't necessarily know why you're picking JC Latham. Unless he hits, like fits your scheme. That says pistol and Alabama down there for chemistries. You can pick every single, any team chem you want on this card. Again, this is a straight predictions video. I'm recording this the day we get the like cut news. I'm recording this like an hour after I read that initial like cut document. So when this, when we actually have the game in our hands and I'm about to pick and I actually understand abilities in this game, we'll get a more updated vi video out and maybe JC Latham might be number one, but today purely based off what we know and how the game plays, JC Latham coming in, you know, not too shabby at number four. Also, if you guys are new here, counting is so hard for me. JC Latham was number five. Quinion Mitchell is the real number four. And when I was saying there was a better DB pick, there's a better DB pick. Also, Quinion Mitchell could very well be top three, top two. I'm a big offensive guy. I really like the top three cards I have on this list. So unfortunately, Quinion Mitchell slid down my list just a little bit. But all in all, a very good position to pick up at defensive back. Very like amazing stats for a day one card, 82 speed, 81 man, 79 zone. He's going to be your like lockdown corner day one. This is going to be your sauce Gardner pickup from day one of Madden 24. This is going to be this guy that's going to be on your team for a few months because of his fact that he's a depth position at a BND option. 81 man, 79 zone. I still really can't get over how good of coverage stats he has. And they also tossed him up 82 speed. Hopefully they don't nerf his abilities. I also do not know how tall Quinton Mitchell is on the top of my head. I remember his scouting report for the NFL and it was that he didn't play any top tier receivers. So we don't know how his press is going to look, but clearly EA did not get bothered by that because they gave him 80 pressed and it was one of his key stats. So I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but you guys can also see the chemistries on these cards. I'm so excited for this game. I'm like the review video I did this morning about the chemistries. I really 
Like that is definitely like building your team is going to matter. And the fact that there's like 154 different ways to build your team, like that shit's electric. Starting the top three, I have Brock Bowers. Now hear me out. The real reason Brock Bowers is high up on the list is the way this game is going to play. You can have like four tight ends on your field. Like you have so many different ways to play this game. So many different offensive styles. You're going to want to have more than one usable tight end on your team. I just got a feeling. So based off that feeling, I have Brock Bowers at number three. He is just the most well-rounded offensive card we got besides who I have at number one. I have AD Mitchell at number one, but Brock Bowers at number three looks really good with that 81 speed, 82 short route running, 78 medium, 76 run block. I got a feeling that 76 run block with 81 speed, we're not going to see on any other card unless we get one of those promos that gives us like a juiced up tight end. Brock Bowers might be tight end one, tight end one in the game day one. So you want the best tight end in the game, you might as well pick Brock Bowers. Again, this is just a straight prediction we'll know more when the game is live so don't worry we'll have all those videos up for you fellas but right now like brock bowers looks really good and coming in at number three argue me if you want but bowers a stud yeah but at number two i have the better offensive tackle at jordan morgan he is pass protecting i believe jc latham was power so maybe that has something to do with the stats but i mean all in all this guy has better stats at every single spot 82 strength 80 awareness 80 pass block 80 run block, 80 run block finesse. Like, buddy, this guy's a freaking beast. Significantly better than JC Latham. I will say this off rip. I have no idea how big you are, Jordan Morgan, but I don't really think it matters. You are just significantly better. But like I said, and been saying all video abilities, we don't necessarily know how that's going to play and how the schemes are all going to affect. So maybe having a power offense alignment is better than having a pass pro offense alignment. We'll just have to wait and see. But right now, today, July 9th, I have Jordan Morgan as the second best ultimate alumni player to pick. Yeah, and I mean, I teased it in the beginning, but A.D. Mitchell is a stud. He's a 6'2", 83 speed wide receiver with 86 jump. He's the only card on this list with a dark green stat. Like that speaks volume. He's got 83 speed, 86 jump, 81 catch, 80 catch in traffic, 80 spec catch, 80 short route running, 78 medium, and 77 deep route running. Yeah, this card is going to be the best player to pick out of this ultimate alumni pack. As of right now, just based off the stats, again, like I've been saying throughout the entire video, we really don't know what these cards are going to look like when the abilities get thrown on them, but We'll have to wait and see. I just got a feeling AD Mitchell is going to be a stud with that 86 jump at 6'2 frame. He's a beast. And fellas, that is my OG ranking for the best ultimate alumni players to pick in cut. Do not worry. I will be updating this list. Like I've said, probably 25 times as soon as we get the game in our hands. I'm so excited for this game. If you boys enjoy college football ultimate team, Madden ultimate team, then you're in the right place. Please go drop down a subscribe, a like, tell your boys, say something nice. That is everything I got, though. I'll catch you boys later today with the Mutt video. But until then, peace.